we've been telling you about airports closed today, but there's one landing strip open and about ready to receive the shuttle Discovery, and CNN's John Holloman is here. He's been covering the mission, and it's about to come on in. It sure is, Natalie. This is a live picture we can show you now from NASA at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. This is a camera on top of the vehicle assembly building. Look uh, up in the sky now. You'll be able, through the clouds, to see the shuttle Discovery as it makes its final approach. It's traveling about uh, between 350 and 400 miles an hour right now. It's been slowing down steadily for the past couple of minutes, flying over the Kennedy Space Center in anticipation of its touchdown in less than 60 seconds from right now. Uh, it's a fairly hazy day there, and so the shuttle will probably pop into view on your screen in just a couple of minutes. The shuttle's been in space for eight days, and the crew is experiencing the Earth's gravity for the first time in more than a week. The mission has been only partially successful, as you know. One of the, uh, the major payloads aboard the Wake Shield satellite uh, was not able to perform as NASA had hoped uh, for it to perform. It was supposed to fly away from Discovery and manufacture pure wafers of gallium arsenide. Isn't that a pretty spaceship? We'll, we'll listen to the last few seconds of uh, Discovery's flight as it comes on in for a landing anticipated uh, in the next 15 or 20 seconds. Main gear touchdown. Drag sheets deployed. Nose gear touchdown. All right, uh, you can see it there live on your the screen. The shuttle Discovery the now uh, with the drag chute uh, slowing its speed to a halt. CNN's Charles Jaco is out there at the landing strip. Charles, what does it sound like out there as the shuttle touches down? Well, John, it's amazingly silent except for the uh, helicopters you might be able to hear overhead and the chase planes. There are those famous twin sonic booms that occur about two to three minutes before touchdown. This time, they were relatively silent because normally what happens is the shuttle will pass directly over the landing strip and make essentially a 180 degree turn. So the sonic booms shake the windows here. This time it followed a landing pattern that a shuttle has never followed before. It came in a good deal to the uh, north of here, so the booms were rather muted. But otherwise, there's almost this eerie, complete silence as this great white space plane, approximately the size of a DC-9 jetliner, touches down and then uh, glides down the end of the runway. The only sound really were people uh, kind of gasping their breath and then breaking out in applause. It's an awesome sight. You know, the word awesome is overused, I think. Uh, I was out at the, the landing strip last week, as, as you are there today, and it's just awesome to think of what happens there uh, when this spaceship comes in. Well, indeed, they, uh, right now they're moving a lot of the equipment out to safe the vehicle. Emergency equipment, of course, have been standing by here. One thing a lot of people might not be able to tell from the picture on their TV screens is the shuttle looks so pristine and gleaming white when it comes in, but when you see it up close, it actually looks a little dinged up and a little dirty, which I imagine all of us would be after uh, eight days in space and a launch and a landing, but there are dark streaks across it and... Uh, you know, smudges and uh, a heat burn from the re-entry and all sorts of things. But to the people here, it's still a glorious sight, especially since uh, the talk here today has not been so much of this mission, but of the fact that it looks like out of the 2,400 member workforce here, uh, three, four, maybe 500 people could be laid off in the latest round of federal government uh, budget cuts. So uh, this certainly heartens the people here, especially those of them uh, who may be losing their jobs. Exactly, Charles. Well, listen, thank you for uh, bringing us up to speed with the atmosphere there at the end of the landing strip. It's, a, it's quite a sight. The shuttle will be there at the end of the runway for, uh, for some time. Uh, there's, there's a process that uh, engineers on the ground go through to make sure there are no poison gases still left in any of the compartments aboard. And it'll be a while before the crew comes out. Um, we'll be watching back at my desk in the back, and when we see the crew people come out, I'll show you some pictures of that. Okay. Nice to have them home. Thanks, yeah. John. And we'll continue in just a moment. 41 seconds. Central time of 1.19.41 p.m.